Franschhoek Valley, in the heart of the Cape Winelands of South Africa. A fertile region blessed by bountiful nature and rich with a history that goes back many centuries. But behind all the beauty, there is a legacy of poverty and unemployment, especially amongst farm workers. Many families in farming communities are affected, with children suffering the worst consequences. As a result, young people lose their self-esteem, become marginalized and are lost to alcohol, substance abuse and disease. Here at Solms Delta, the Rural Cape Music Education Project has been launched to address these problems and to empower people that would otherwise be lost. In the beginning, there was more enthusiasm than harmony. But it was clear that these musicians at last had a chance to express themselves and were filled with hope for a better life. They have learned to work together as a group and their joy of life is infectious. Many cultures have contributed to the heritage of the Franschhoek Valley. They have come from all corners of the world, but they also came from here. The path of the Sun people and the Khoi Khoi from thousands of years ago. There was lived a baby flame. It was net, the Delta Trust has committed itself to recovering and rebuilding this heritage in all its forms, particularly the musical heritage. This is done through research and supporting local musicians and composers, and through the music that is being taught in the Cape Rural Music Education Project. Most days after school, the children attend classes run by music tutors. Everyone is provided with an instrument to play, and for most, this is their first important and prized possession. The farm children spend many long hours learning to play the trumpet or the trombone, the guitar or the guma drum. They have to learn to play in tune and to harmonize with each other. The Cape Rural Music Education Project is not only enjoyable and practical, it is also about music theory. The young musicians learn about notation and chords as much as actually making music. The Delta Trust and its music teachers believe strongly that the discipline of music theory empowers the students. The highlight of the year is the Sons Delta Harvest Festival, or Usfias. This is a chance for all the musicians that have been training so hard all year to perform in front of an audience. Thousands of people of all cultures come together to say thank you to the workers for the harvest and to celebrate the music of the Cape. Well-known Cape jazz artists perform here, but so do our own musicians, displaying their newly discovered talents. This is the most effective way of ensuring that the musical heritage is stimulated and is protected by each new generation. The Delta Trust believes that the best way to get rid of the inequities of the past is to restore the sense of self-esteem of all the inhabitants of the valley. The damage that has been done by apartheid can be healed by restoring a sense of heritage and keeping culture alive. 
mijn namen zijn niet boeren zaaien. Ik was 13 jaar oud. Ik speel in die boestas en ik heb een lang broekbeen en ik speel trampet en al toe in. Mijn naam is Liet en mijn vriend is Jansen en ik is 12 jaar oud en ik speel trompet. Ik is Wilbert Giel, ik is 14 jaar oud en ik speel trompet. Mijn naam is Jaton Zanders, ik is 13 jaar oud en ik speel sluiten en mijn naam is Brendan Pietersen. Ik is 10 jaar oud en ik speel de snijdrang. Mijn naam is Lola Dau. Ik is 16 jaar oud en ik speel de rampet. The Delta Trust is a not-for-profit organization that relies on donations to be able to carry out its mission. You have seen what music can do. Please help our project to support musicians like these. Donations are very welcome. For banking and other details, please send an email to deltatrust at psalmsdelta.co.za.